here's a little video that's a continuation of the chipping and pitching video that I put up a couple of weeks ago. And I, I just want to clarify one thing because I did receive a couple of emails and phone calls about it. There was a little bit of confusion, and that's my fault. And that is specifically regarding understanding bounce and the sense of flicking the club head through the hitting area. Now, the shot that I'm referring to is the higher, softer shot, particularly for faster greens, where maybe you're trying to land the ball softly on the green and have it check up a little bit quicker so it doesn't roll off the other side of the green. Um, so that's what it was in reference to, the higher, softer shot, okay? Well, today, I'm going to help you kind of lower the ball flight a little bit, maybe just a little bit more of a straightforward trajectory on your chips and your pitches. So what you see here is I have a tennis racket with me. We don't necessarily need our golf club just yet. And what we're going to do with the tennis racket is we're just going to hold it in front of us. Now, if you want to do this in front of a mirror, that's fine. And what you're going to see is, is I just take the tennis racket and hold it like a golf club here. Now, the video that I put up a, few week, a couple of weeks ago was more about that motion there, where you're feeling the wrist releasing through the hitting area like this and letting the bounce of We're the wedge hit the ground. We're going to feel a little bit ground. more of this, a pivot motion like this. So you notice my hands and arms are relatively quiet. So when I get here, it's still pointing at my midsection, and I turn through, and it's still pointing at my midsection like this. So we're really relying on a pivoting motion in this manner. Now as I do this, my weight is to my left. So I'm putting about 60, 60, 70% of my weight on my left like this. My weight is left, it stays left, and it finishes left in that manner. So you see how I'm just pivoting So now, around. in addition to the tennis racket, I have a tennis ball. Now we're not gonna hit this. What I'm gonna show you is how to use the tennis ball to get a better feel for the positioning of the grip and the shaft and the head of a, tennis, of a tennis racket or the golf club. Now I'm holding it out this way and I've got the tennis ball and I'm now gonna hold it in between the butt end of the shaft or the butt end of the grip and my forearm in this manner. And you see how I'm holding it here with just my back hand, my right hand in this case as a righty golfer, and I'm just trying to get a feel for that. There we go, so you see the back is this way, just like that. I'm just getting a feel for this. Again, holding it there. You can see the back end of my wrist is a little bit bent backwards here. And just holding on to the tennis ball in that manner. So if I were doing it in this end, back of my wrist, my left wrist in this case, is flat and coming through. All right, so again, working on the pivoting. Weight is left, pivoting around and learning how to feel what, it, what, what this wrist and this hand should be doing. Putting the tennis ball there and feeling the same thing. And as you're doing this, see I'm doing it one-handed. You can do it with two hands if you want. And just getting a feel for that positioning there.